Another day, and not another dollar. I'm Colin, this is Shine Automotive, and we are back on with part two of the XRAC heavy axle transit van. In the last one, we went over the van, looking how rotten it was, and then we got stuck in, chopping all the rot out, and started buying up panels. This episode, we are fitting more panels to it, so let's get on with fixing this lovely, iconic van. Thanks for all your comments in the last one. Please put comments down below as well. So what I'm doing now is I'm going around and marking off all the low spots with a pen and then just tapping the high spots down. With doing that, we can skim some 80 grit sandpaper over there and then we've got a key to put some filler in. So we'll do all these bits now before you sand the van down so you don't actually miss where all the low and high spots are. It's a good tip and it is proper rot on this side. Everything is just falling to bits. So it's gonna need a full quarter. Like we've under the van, all these bits is proper solid. I've had a good knock round there, and that's all surface now. It's all been really, really well looked after. All these bits, it's really, really good. So I'm quite happy with that. Spring hanger, really good. That outrigger there, just wants a bit in there, and then we're on this inner panel here. Just uh, we'll put a strip in there. But all this sill, this sill will probably clean up and go again, in all fairness. I've seen a lot worse. Just, just soft pad that right back down. But this sill, when I get the monk stitch, should be all right. And the back arches, the back inner arches, finished. Finished, aren't they, Bella? Yeah, it's a rotten orange fun. Another night, I think it's Thursday night. We've got to have this van ready for the 28th, 26th day, basically. We're doing those door bottoms tonight, just getting out of the way, not putting it on a time lapse. It's very straightforward. These are just folded round. We've got this acid X, we're not coming up to where the sway line is. We are putting part that we need into. We're going to underlap it with a dobbler and then we can weld it on nice and smooth. And then these edges, fold them round and we'll put some little spot welds and then bits and then we'll dress that back and then we'll re seam that off. But when we've taken it off the van, it's just folded out. We just basically cut along the edge and then it fell off on both sides. But often just cleaning up the edge now. Put a tiny bit of rust off in this area here. But in all fairness, these bottom doors are excellent. Just offered up the rear, uh, the rear arch, and they're going to be quite easy to do. But we're going to have to chop more of this panel out. But we've got that piece there because we've got nothing left of the outrigger and the inner part. So we need to get that in place and to put a big plate on the inside and rebuild the outrigger. But it's best off getting all this out of the way and working from the inside out. Then we can get it all treated. The rear arch fits on there, mega. We're gonna bring the arch, just underlap the arch on there and we're gonna weld along there. And then it's gonna be easy for me to block and get that shape back in there. Same thing, build a piece for there as well. And hopefully we can get a panel to sort out where that's a 10 ton of doggy in there. So that's where we are. We welded a bit on top of the battery box and to the bulkhead. The bulkhead was all right, but we put that in the stem. And then same same with this side. Got all that welded, got all that seam sealed up. And then we've gone to the bulkhead to make it stronger as well. And we've left a nice hole in there for water to get down and drain. So it doesn't sit in here. Drainage hole there. And then a run of a drainage hole there. All this arch and inner arch is all buzzed up and we've got it all seam sealed up now so that's looking all good and we just need to continue going around the back but tomorrow's progress is going to be getting that sill on getting this wing on we can't put the um panel on here because i've ordered the wrong bloody side so that needs sending back we're going to get the battery trays restored 
some rib nuts put in so they can be bolted down outer arch on inner sill i want all that done tomorrow so we've got three days on we've had a full day on it today but we haven't done any filming because i forgot the bloody cameras so that's the progress of what we've got up to today but i'll make sure to put cameras in the mortar as soon as i leave Dollar. That's what Austin's has just said. I look like dead wood. I've got dust in my eyes. This side is nearly done. I had a nightmare with a step. Outrigger fixed. Arch is in place. Ready to meet up tomorrow and stick that panel in. We've changed the shape of the outrigger. I'm now a new Ford designer. Outer, inner sill is in. We've got all this to contend with tomorrow. So we're just going to chop it all out and start again. That's about that. The other side's rattled off in a plate on that outrigger. 
done. There was quite a bit of filler in there, so it's been hard to work that out. But we've got a piece to put in here and a piece to put in there. But it's been overlapped, like three sills were overlapped on this side. Sill, we found two dead mice. Well, Austin found two dead mice in the sill. I was going to put the sill on this side, but I thought I'd stop. Wait, because we've got a full quarter coming for this side. So see how we get on tomorrow on that side. We might try and get the inner part of the arch off and the quarter fully chopped out. Just if there's any gremlins behind there, because every time we've took a panel off, there's been a gremlin. So that's why it's taking a bit of time. But this, this is all lined up. We're all all right. Shuts are all right. Slight bit of filler there just to get that right level. Just a couple of mil there. Buzz that down. Just a bit of filler going that section there. I didn't want to lap it in here. Um, oh, this is buttoned off. All seems sealed up. Not if you can see. That is all gone. All around here. Just got to clean it back, acid etch it, and then we'll run seam sealer through there to join that all up. Everything you need, abrasive products, cutting, grinding, sanding, everything, wire brushes, wire wheels, drill bits, Cling Spa UK have been a massive supporter of our channel for a long time. And they have everything under one roof, good, safe, yellow. It's late, it's nine o'clock, it's bank holiday. Monday, so we've had we've had now one full weekend at it. This is our second full weekend. We've had about four nights. What else? Yeah, bank holiday tomorrow, so another full day at it. And the deadline is the twenty eighth, which is three weeks away for it to be painted. I don't know if it's doable. I think by next weekend we're gonna know more. I need a bath or a shower. I stink, covered in swarf. Austin keeps fine. It's smelly. Tired now. It's about nine o'clock. We've done about thirteen hours today. Oh, I think I've done 12 hours. What time is it, Austin? Half past nine. Half past nine. I've done 12 hours. Austin's done 13. I had a line this morning, so I'm not well. Full of flu. Feel a lot better today, though. I just had to man up. Oh, my walkie charge is going full. Full chat. Right, see you for another update on it. Rivers run dry. Dust spreads in the air Two dark days Do you have a tear to spear? Make a promise The world awaits It's heavy just breathing Through this debate We'll start a, come on, start a riot When they love you too much Now it's fame, fake, or even hate Don't be scared when the weight paralyzes You stayed at the gate It's a lot to take in It's designed on knowing, don't wait don't be scared when the way paralyzes your state at the gate.
Right, so one of the outriggers is actually a little bit rusty and we've got some box here and it is exactly the same size as the outrigger so we're just making our own outrigger to go literally in there like that. Perfect, perfect. I'm glad we've had that because that saves a lot of messing around. Bit OTT but it's a good jacking point reference there if you ever need to jack up in a weird position. So I'll bust this up now and we'll get it fitted. Well, that there is the outrigger all welded in. The van is looking good. And the next one, we're sticking some paint on and putting some more panels on. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.